You're watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're recording this episode on Friday, which means it's Farmer's Market Day in downtown Nanaimo. Yes, it's truly me behind the sunglasses. You know, I haven't been here in a couple of years. The Molly House has a booth here. One of my all-time favorite restaurants that I rarely get a chance to visit. I can now come down and experience them at the Farmer's Market. I see some homemade cookies over there. We've got organic uh, produce and products to experience here at the market today. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun on today's show and we're going to do a lot of shopping as well. Also in the lineup, this edition of Big Summer takes us to Medicine Hat into a butterfly world. I know we have a couple of butterfly worlds right here on Vancouver Island to experience, but if you're in the Medicine Hat neighborhood, you can check one out there as well. We're going to visit the Comox Valley where a baby blue heron was dropped. It was snatched by an eagle, dropped into some people who were having a picnic and now uh, a, a campaign to save blue herons has ensued with this little baby that was dropped in the middle of it all. Public art. There are seven public art pieces in downtown Nanaimo. They're there permanently, but not really because they're there to enjoy. They're securely fastened, but they'll be auctioned off in a couple of months. But enjoy public art in the downtown Nanaimo. Sunglasses style. Yes, the sun is shining. Do your sunglasses suit your face? I don't know. Karen Elgersma, you tell me. She's going to tell you on this edition of The Daily. Before we get to any of that, though, Kelly Robinson is here with a heartwarming story about a woman who rescued a dog who, in turn, rescued her. Fresh strawberries from Dude Nicks in South Wellington. You know, if my hands weren't full, I'd eat them, but I haven't paid for them yet either. So I'll just put them back here at the booth. One of the many fantastic things you can find at the downtown Nanaimo's Farmer's Market. Of course, Farmer's Markets are about all the fantastic things that you can bring home with you, the best of the best when it comes to food and art. The other great thing about Farmer's Markets are the people that you run into. I ran into these ladies here and um, they obviously stand out a little bit. This is Wendy, am I right? What it, why are you dressed like this? Just to be different, I suppose. There's so many people, it's, so, it's an international group and we're all dressed in purple and red, except on the month of our birthday, which we can switch around. We have purple hats and red clothing. Okay, now so. what we're talking about is the Red Hat Society. What yeah. brings you to the market today? We just like it down here. It's just perfect and we pick up all kinds of little bread <laughs> bread and vegetables because as soon as they come up then it's time to come down yeah we we really like it down here so and then we go down and have fish and chips down on the the dock there so make a nice afternoon of it we like to go out for lunch and shop and all those things sounds like a yeah. great way to spend an afternoon i'm going to put this woman on the spot because she was telling me before we got the camera rolling about a fantastic sort of origin of the Red Hat Society based on a poem. Yes, it's called Warning. And it was two women in California started it. Um, they were down in the dumps, one of them, and they just thought, well, I'll cheer up by buying her a red hat and giving her the poem Warning. And it's based on aging. Okay. And that's how it started. It went from there, chapter to chapter, in California. So in a nutshell, the Red Hat Society is a group of ladies who are getting older, yeah. but doing it loud and proud and with a whole lot of style and flamboyance. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we have I lots think. of fun. Yeah. I think I'll be joining the ranks of these ladies before too long. Thanks for your time today. Enjoy your afternoon of marketing and lunches. Sounds fabulous. We're going to continue with this edition of The Daily as we head to the Comox Valley. A blue heron, a little baby, was literally dropped by an eagle onto someone's picnic lunch. There's a story that ensues. We're going to have that uh, coming up in just a couple of minutes. Before that, though, here's Annette Lucas with an update on Nanaimo's public art program. You're watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're recording this episode on a Friday, which means that it's Farmer's Market Day in downtown Nanaimo. We're here under the tent now of Katie's Farm, and there's a lineup right out of the tent into the sunshine. And I don't know what all these people are here for. Everyone seems to be grabbing something. What have you got there? Oh, cabbage and broccoli and lettuce and will be strawberries after this. 
And is this what you come to the market for, is the fresh produce? Yeah, mostly. Yeah. But I did come today for a uh, gift for my sister, which is non-food. Okay. <laughs> I started realizing a couple years ago that food is usually the best part of a market. What are you after today, sir? What have you got in your hand there? <laughs> Looks like a cabbage to me. And why do you buy it here and not in the grocery store? It's fresh. More, more fresh? More, does, is, is there a difference in flavor, do you find? Oh, yeah. 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 Right now, this lady's got a whole whack of stuff. What are you stocking up on today? Let's turn around so we can oh, see. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> Beets, and I'm getting some strawberries and chard. So, yeah. Is that what you come to markets for, the produce? Uh, mostly, and some bread, and yeah, things like Excellent. that. Yeah. So, are you always this popular? Uh, normally, yes. Here in Nanaimo, we have other people in other places. Okay. We do uh, Cedar Market, and we do uh, uh, Parksville Market, and we do the... Uh, Qualicum Beach Market, and we do the Duncan Market, and it, it seems to take most of our produce. Okay. And so where is the farm located? It's uh, at the Crofton Turnoff, okay. Okay. down Couch and Valley, yep. right? It's just north of Duncan. Are you finding a real surge in people wanting to buy their produce at farmers market? Yes, and it would be a wonderful opportunity for us to gouge people, but we don't believe in that, so we charge reasonable prices which is indicated by the long lineup at your booth. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a strawberry. They're I, not sprayed. Okay, oh, have a strawberry. They're not sprayed. I think I'll be taking her up on that. While I taste the strawberries, we're going to send you over to Medicine Hat to experience Butterfly World. Wow. Yes, indeed. You are watching The Daily on Shaw TV Channel 4. We are at the Nanaimo Farmer's Market downtown because we're recording this episode on Friday. There's a market every Friday throughout the summer. We've had strawberries. We've looked at the Molly House booth. We've met ladies in red hats and purple clothes. And now I'm getting some reflexology from Fran's reflexology. She's here every Friday at the Farmer's Market downtown. Oh, and I feel like I'm being transported. There's music in the background, shade under the tent, and a gentle touch on my feet. I think I needed this more than I realized. Todd, not too close on those toes, buddy. <laughs> that brings us to the end of this edition of The Daily. I think I'm just going to escape here in Friends Reflexology tent for a little while. In the meantime, we'll see you next time. Ha, ha, ha.